Mega Mechatronics. All right, today we are looking at the GY521 accelerometer board, uh, breakout board, um, that's using the um, MPU6050 MEMS accelerometer slash G uh, gyro. So it's got three axes of the accelerometer and three axes of the uh, gyro, ZY and X. And we have it uh, hooked up here to an Arduino Nano using a two wire uh, I2C bus along with feeding this five volts. I believe it works, can also work with 3.3 volts. Um, and then I have a pull down resistor on the uh, AD0 pin uh, to set the channel if um, just to make sure uh, it sets the channel for the I2C bus. So we'll go ahead and plug this in and I will install the uh, basic code here to read um, the raw output. So we'll get that uploaded here and we should be seeing the so I have time and I'm looking at the accelerometer values and I just uh, uncommented the other values. So when I move this around you'll see the numbers changing. It could be negative, it could be positive. And if we bang it around we'll see little spikes of data. So if I uh, hit the reset and unplug we can actually export this into Excel and you can see I'll show you how to do that right now so when I set up the the print output I made it so it's compatible with the CSV file uh, comma separating the values as you see here and then if you take note of this right here um, you can see how I obtain that information so that's probably good I'll hit copy and what we need to do is open the notepad paste that in there make sure the first line is okay and then we will save this as a CSV so we'll do uh, test YouTube dot CSV and then we need to go to Excel and open that up Sure we select CSV. So now we have our raw data here. And I'm just going to add a line up top. Label it. And then we'll go across. So you can select the top line, shift, uh, control shift and down grabs all the information until there's no cells and then we will insert a scatter chart. You don't want to do a line chart, we got to do a scatter chart so it takes that first column as the x-axis. Um, we'll do the lines here and then we can send this uh, to the other sheet so we can stretch this out a little easier. And you can see how I was uh, tilting it around here and then I started tapping on it. And that's what these sparks are, uh, spikes are. So um, I had a, a fun idea to create a round counter for this airsoft toy I have. And um, I figure there is there is some recoil with this um, 
the mechanical gear in here. I'm not like an airsoft guy. This is uh, for another project. Um, it might go on an RC airplane for fun. Um, but um, so my idea was uh, to in, to create a round counter by reading the impulses of the gun shooting. Um, so I did some tests, and I could can open that up um, from yesterday. We'll look at uh, uh, number ten, I think, and we'll go ahead and make another chart here. And you can see. Let's cover this up. And you can see I'm shooting here. Um, and there's there's some weird feedback with the z-axis. So if I were to remove um, the x and the z and focus on the y, remove the x, remove the z. And we'll go back down and find our chart. You can see there's a spike here and spikes up there. And you see how far that deviates from the baseline. And um, so there's three shots there. This was a tapping. I was, I was tapping it like this on, a, on um, another axis. And then I shot three times again and then tapped three times. So I was trying to... Uh, clear up some noise from the other axes. Um, so if I try to show you the X, the X axis is here and then the Y axis goes this way. So I'm trying to, I, I want to line this up with the, the recoil of the gun this way and then Z is obviously up and down, raising that up and down. So using that data, I came up with a unique um, algorithm here, and we'll go ahead and load that up. And test it on the Airsoft. So I'm reading the ser serial output once this loads up. It, uh, it's not very easy. So we'll go do some double bursts. There's three, three shot bursts. Double shot. And we'll try full auto. It's hard to count. I can... So that is the accelerometer uh, little test. So when I'm learning this stuff, learning these uh, new boards and playing around with them, I like to come up with a scenario and then try and integrate it um, using the accelerometer and um, yeah well if you guys like this video and want to see more projects like this please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on the new videos I'm Mega Man catch you later